In our series on fifth-generation aircraft, we've looked at Turkey's TFCON, South Korea's KF-21, India's HAL AMCA, and China's J-20 and J-31. Of these, South Korea seems to have the most immediate technology and expertise, while China's J-20 enjoys unmatched funding and manufacturing capacity. Today, however, we turn to Russia, the only other country besides the U.S., to field a true fifth-generation fighter. Russia has two designs, the Su-75 Checkmate, whose future remains uncertain, and the Su-57 Felon, which has already entered. Service The story of the Su-57 begins in the late Cold War. The Soviets wanted a next-gen fighter by the mid-1990s, but early prototypes like the MiG-1.44 and Su-47 never made it past testing. The collapse of the USSR froze development until 2001, when Russia launched the PAC-FA program. MIG pitched a cheaper fighter, while Sukhoi proposed a more advanced, pricier design. The military chose Sukhoi, given its track record with the flanker. By 2010, the prototypes then known as the T-50 made its first flight, and in 2017 it was renamed the Su-57 Felon. The Felon was intended to surpass the flanker, Russia's most capable fourth-gen jet. Like the F-22, it incorporates stealth shaping, supercruise capability, and advanced sensors. Reports suggest it can cruise at Mach 1.3, reach Mach 2.2, and has a range of 3,500 kilometers on internal fuel far beyond the F-22. Its Bielka AESA radar can track 60 targets and engage 16 simultaneously, while additional side-looking radars give it unique advantages in missile combat. Defensive systems include advanced IRST, ultraviolet warning sensors, and even laser-based countermeasures designed to blind incoming missiles, something rarely seen in Western fighters. Still, its stealth is widely believed to lag behind the F-22 and J-20, and Russia's design philosophy has always leaned more toward agility and raw performance than allowed stealth. On the other hand, Russia retains an edge in engine reliability, and certain radar technologies are as where China still struggles despite rapid progress. So where does the felon stand today? Originally, Russia hoped to field 200 aircraft by 2028, but the number is now closer to 78 due to costs. Only a few dozen are in service, and the Su-35 remains Russia's main air superiority fighter. The Su-57 has reportedly seen combat in Ukraine, mostly from within Russian airspace, using long-range missiles like the R-37. Some reports claim it has been used for seed and strike missions, though evidence is limited. Ukraine has even claimed a damage to Su-57s on the ground with drones. Its future is uncertain. Unlike China's J-20, which is now a mass production program, the felon remains rare more in line with the US F-22 produced in small numbers but reserved as a strategic deterrent. In many ways, the Su-57 and F-22 mirror each other. Both are expensive, both fielded in limited numbers, both highly valued by their air forces, and both designed to dominate in air superiority if a large-scale conflict were ever to erupt. For now, the felon may not replace the flanker, but in an all-out war, it would almost certainly be Russia's sharpest spear in the fight for control of the skies.